Hey everyone, welcome back to Speak Healthy. Today, we're going to talk about whether or not red meat can worsen gout. Gout is a type of arthritis that affects millions of people worldwide, and it's often associated with high levels of uric acid in the body. While many factors can contribute to the development of gout, diet is known to play a significant role. In particular, high purine foods, such as red meat, have been linked to an increased risk of gout and can exacerbate symptoms in those who already have the condition. In this video, we will explore the relationship between red meat consumption and gout, including the science behind it and the potential health implications. We will also discuss tips for managing gout through dietary changes and lifestyle modifications. Number 1. What is gout and what causes it? Gout is a form of arthritis that occurs when there is an excess buildup of uric acid in the body, leading to the formation of crystals in the joints. This can cause pain, swelling, and inflammation in the affected areas. Uric acid is a waste product that is produced when the body breaks down purines, which are compounds found in many foods. Normally, uric acid is dissolved in the blood and then excreted by the kidneys. However, in some people, the kidneys are unable to remove enough uric acid from the blood, resulting in high levels of uric acid in the body. Factors that can increase the risk of developing gout include a diet high in purine-rich foods, such as red meat and seafood, obesity, genetics, and certain medications. Men are more likely than women to develop gout, and the risk increases with age. When uric acid levels become too high, the excess uric acid can form sharp, needle-like crystals that accumulate in the joints, leading to the inflammation and pain characteristic of gout. The crystals can also accumulate in other tissues such as the kidneys, potentially causing kidney stones and other problems. Effective treatment of gout often involves a combination of medication and lifestyle changes, including changes to diet and exercise habits. By managing uric acid levels in the body, people with gout can reduce the frequency and severity of gout attacks and prevent long-term damage to the joints and other organs. Number 2. Why is red meat linked to gout? Red meat has been linked to an increased risk of gout due to its high purine content. Purines are naturally occurring substances found in many foods, including red meat. When purines are metabolized in the body, they are broken down into uric acid, which can accumulate in the bloodstream and form crystals in the joints, leading to gout attacks. While all meats contain some level of purines, red meat is generally higher in purines than other types of meat. This is because red meat comes from muscle tissue that has a higher concentration of purine-containing compounds compared to other parts of the animal, such as the liver or kidneys. Beef, lamb, and pork are particularly high in purines compared to chicken, fish, or plant-based sources of protein. However, it's important to note that not all sources of purines are created equal. For example, studies have shown that purines from vegetables and legumes may not have the same effect on uric acid levels as purines from animal sources. This is likely due to the fact that plant-based sources of purines also contain other compounds that can help to lower uric acid levels in the body. In addition to dietary factors, alcohol consumption has also been linked to gout development. Alcohol can interfere with the body's ability to excrete uric acid, leading to elevated levels of uric acid in the bloodstream. Beer and spirits have been shown to be particularly problematic in this regard, while moderate wine consumption does not appear to be associated with an increased risk of gout. Overall, while red meat is not the only dietary factor that can contribute to the development of gout, reducing red meat consumption and choosing leaner protein sources may be beneficial for those at risk of gout or those who have already been diagnosed with the condition. A balanced diet that includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can also help to lower uric acid levels and reduce the risk of gout attacks. Number 3. What does research say? Numerous studies have investigated the link between red meat consumption and the risk of developing gout. Overall, the evidence suggests that there is a positive association between red meat intake and gout risk. One large prospective cohort study published in the British Medical Journal in 2017 found that a high intake of meat, particularly red and processed meats, was associated with an increased risk of gout in both men and women. The study followed over 44,000 men and 78,000 women for over 26 years and found that those who consumed the highest amounts of red meat had a 21% higher risk of developing gout compared to those who consumed the lowest amounts. 
Similarly, those who consumed the highest amounts of processed meat had a 23% higher risk. Another study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2018 found that high consumption of red and processed meats was associated with an increased risk of gout in men, but not in women. The study followed over 44,000 men and 76,000 women for over 26 years and found that men who consumed the highest amounts of red meat had a 29% higher risk of gout compared to those who consumed the lowest amounts. However, some studies have produced conflicting findings. For example, a study published in the Annals of the Rheumatic Diseases in 2012 found that high red meat intake was not associated with an increased risk of gout in women. The study followed over 44,000 women for over 14 years and found that there was no significant association between red meat intake and the risk of gout. Another study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association in 2004 found that while red meat intake was associated with an increased risk of gout, seafood intake was not. This study followed over 47,000 men for over 12 years and found that men who consumed the highest amounts of red meat had a 41% higher risk of gout compared to those who consumed the lowest amounts, while there was no significant association between seafood intake and gout risk. Number 4. How can red meat consumption be managed in those with gout? For individuals with gout, managing red meat consumption is an important part of reducing the risk of gout attacks. Here are some practical tips for reducing red meat intake and incorporating leaner protein sources into the diet. Swap red meat for leaner protein sources, instead of red meat, opt for leaner protein sources such as chicken, turkey, fish, eggs, low-fat dairy, and plant-based sources of protein such as tofu, legumes, and nuts. Reduce portion sizes, if you choose to eat red meat, aim for smaller portion sizes and incorporate more vegetables and whole grains into your meal to balance it out. Choose healthier cooking methods, avoid deep frying or pan frying red meat, which can add extra fat and calories. Instead, choose healthier cooking methods such as grilling, broiling, or roasting. Read labels, when purchasing processed meats, such as sausages or deli meats, read the labels carefully and choose those with lower levels of fat and sodium. In addition to reducing red meat intake, a plant-based diet may also be beneficial for those with gout. Plant-based diets are typically high in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, which are low in purines and high in fiber and other beneficial nutrients. Studies have shown that plant-based diets can lower uric acid levels in the body and reduce the risk of gout attacks. Here are some practical tips for incorporating more plant-based foods into the diet. Experiment with new plant-based recipes, try new plant-based recipes that incorporate a variety of vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. Swap animal products for plant-based alternatives, replace animal products with plant-based alternatives such as tofu, tempeh, seitan, and plant-based milks. Snack on fruits and vegetables, choose fruits and vegetables as snacks instead of processed foods, which can be high in purines and other unhealthy ingredients. Gradually increase plant-based foods. Gradually increase the amount of plant-based foods in your diet over time to make the transition easier and more sustainable. Number 5. Are there exceptions to the rule? While red meat is generally discouraged for those with gout, there may be some exceptions to the rule. For some people with gout, consuming red meat in moderation may not trigger gout attacks or raise uric acid levels significantly. Additionally, some individuals may have other dietary or health needs that make it difficult to completely avoid red meat. The key to determining whether red meat can be safely consumed in moderation is to work with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian to develop an individualized dietary plan. This plan should take into account a person's medical history, lifestyle, dietary preferences, and other factors that may impact their gout management. It is important to note that even for those who can tolerate red meat in moderation, it should still be limited in the diet. Other factors such as alcohol consumption, dehydration, and high sugar foods in drinks can also trigger gout attacks, so a balanced and varied diet is crucial for gout management. Individualized dietary advice is especially important for those with gout because the condition can be influenced by a variety of factors, such as genetics, lifestyle, and other medical conditions. A one-size-fits-all approach may not be effective for everyone, and dietary recommendations should be tailored to the individual. Gout is a painful and chronic condition that can be managed by making dietary changes, including reducing red meat intake and incorporating leaner protein sources and more plant-based foods into the diet. 
While red meat should generally be avoided or limited for those with gout, some individuals may be able to consume it in moderation with the guidance of a healthcare professional or registered dietitian. Ultimately, individualized dietary advice is crucial for effectively managing gout and reducing the risk of gout attacks.